All right. Deontay Wilder versus uh, Luis Ortiz is set. I do believe for Las Vegas. Uh, they're going to be announcing the actual date uh, very soon. And of course, uh, Tyson Fury has to come out saying some craziness about Deontay Wilder and $50 million. Just a big old lie. Uh, let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. All right, the fight that I do not want to see is happening again. I do not know why Deontay Wilder insists on fighting Luis Ortiz again. It was a it was a ridiculously nerve wracking fight the first time. It was the build up was nerve wracking. The fight was nerve wracking. The ending was exciting and in like this mega release of tension because Luis Ortiz, a southpaw counter punching uh, uh, Cuban with knockout power. And now who's seen you before? That's it's just such a dangerous fight. But Deontay Wilder decides that he wants to do it. And uh, according to reports, there's going to be an announcement coming up this, I believe this week, about the date and the venue for the fight. I do believe it's supposed to be in Las Vegas in the last, in the last week of November. Now, that coming on the heels of Eddie Hearns, Eddie Hearns, the snake master pr promoter out of the UK, uh, saying, when is this fight going to be made? When is this fight going to be announced? You know, they're talking about the fight, but it's not been announced. Stop following around Anthony Joshua. Stop stop picking on Anthony Joshua. Focus on Luis Ortiz. <laughs> so anyway, man, it was a good point. I was like, hey, man, when are they going to announce this fight? It seems like they keep, you know, they keep, <laughs> they say it's going to happen, but they ain't been announced yet. So maybe I still have hope that Deontay Wilder will change his mind and, you know, and fight Otto Wallen's cousin, Ido Wallen, something like that. Maybe, you know, maybe Deont I was thinking, man, maybe Deontay Wilder will take the Tyson Fury route and just go get some get somebody. He can just lay out real, real quick, real, real easy. Like maybe Dillian White, <laughs> Dillian, the dope fiend dude went dope. Maybe Dillian White. But anyway, he's going to fight Luis Ortiz. I'm telling you, man, there's been a lot of polls out there about what is the bigger upset if Anthony Joshua can defeat uh, and if Andy Ruiz can defeat um, Anthony Joshua again or Anthony Joshua can beat Andy Ruiz. It's like they're saying either way it goes, it's an upset. I don't get that. But or Deontay Wilder or Ortiz beating Deontay Wilder. Man, I don't really know, man, because <laughs> like I said, you know, Deontay Wilder is a very, very good fighter and a very a matter of fact, this guy is the most underrated nine time defending 40 uh, undefeated with over with a 97 percent knockout percentage of any boxer. He That most overrated boxer with with a stat line like that in the entire in the history of boxing. I mean, there are there have been people who have been avoided. But I don't know if they've been underrated like that. I think Deontay Wilder has got to be the most underrated fighter that I've seen, especially when you hear stuff out of Tony Bellew's mouth talking about, you know, I don't like the way he throws his punches. You know, yeah, I, you know, he's a top three heavyweight, but it would just be ridiculous if he was the top heavyweight because look at his technique. I can't stand his technique. Like, man, you can't stand his technique, but you love the results, man. Boxing is about the results, okay? However you get it done, you get it. However you get it done, you get it done. And Deontay Wilder gets it done. But still, that's all that said. Luis Ortiz is definitely one of the most underrated heavyweights. In, I, yeah, the second most underrated uh, fighter in the heavyweight division. Because you constantly have people saying nonsense like, who's he fought? Who's he fought? Who's he fought? Who's he fought? Name one person that he fought. As if 
You don't know how this works. If somebody won't fight you, you can't say that you fought them. The fact that the fact that none of these guys will fight him is a testimony to his skills more than it is some uh, some way to try to tear the guy down and diminish and diminish him. The fact that no, that everybody knows who he is, that he isn't terribly expensive to fight, and none of these guys have wanted to get in the ring with him, uh, other than Deontay Wilder, should tell you something about the guy. He is dangerous. Dangerous. And he didn't go to distance with Brian Jennings. He beat up on Brian Jennings. And he beat up on Brian Jennings before he was before Brian Jennings was going the di- wind up going the distance with these other heavyweights like Joe Joyce that people are saying, you know, now are acting like he's somehow good or that who's better than Luis Ortiz? Uh Derek Chisora, Joseph Parker, Huey Fury, Alexander Povekin. Dillian White, just because these guys all fight each other and won't fight him, they get all the credit. They're like, well, look at who all these guys fought. They all fought each other. Yeah, but they locked him out the door. Like, yeah, we're all going to agree that we'll fight each other. I'm not saying that these guys actually got together and agreed that. Although the promoter for these fights, for all of these guys are the same promoter or the least the same. If they're not the direct promoter, they were partnering with this guy in order to make the fights, and that's matchroom boxing. Derek Chisora, Derek Chisora, Joseph Parker, uh, Huey Fury, um, Dilly, uh, Dillian White, all these guys. I think I said, yeah, Derek, uh, Derek Chisora, even Carl, just Carl Stacom just recently went away. All those guys were all fighting under matchroom. All those guys were fighting under matchroom on matchroom events, and uh, and and. Luis Ortiz was not invited to the party. So, man, as far as what the bigger upset would be, I, I have to say it, I would might have to agree with the two people between the talk about uh, whether it's Anthony Joshua and beating Andy Ruiz or Andy Ruiz beating Joshua. Um, and I don't get that, man. It's like some people think that Anthony jo- Andy Ruiz needs to climb a mountain again to do something he already did. And... Uh, but and that he's uh, a massive underdog, but other people believe, you know, it's kind of man both ways on that fight. So I would have to say that it would be the uh, is if it was, it's though it's one of those two. I think the biggest upset would probably be if Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua again because he's out there in uh, Saudi Arabia fighting in a dust bowl under who knows what rules. What who knows what who knows what going on? Because I trust I don't trust uh, I don't trust Eddie Hearn as far as I can throw a car. Now, what else I heard this week, and I want to make sure before this video, before the time of this video runs out. <laughs> after the fight with Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder, and Andy Ruiz and uh, and. Anthony Joshua. There could be unification for the heavyweight division in a fight between the winners of these two guys. Now, the only way that that's going to happen is if Andy Ruiz beats Anthony Joshua, because Anthony Joshua is already already on record saying he's just going to go fight whoever, wherever, (laughs) you know, whoever, wherever he's he's going to take an easy fight. I don't actually, I mean, I think Andy, I think Anthony Joshua needs a needs an easy fight now, <laughs> not after Andy Ruiz. I think he needs one now. You should have taken a breast, rested, taken a break, rested, and then went back and got Andy Ruiz. But uh if Anthony Anthony Joshua wins, you know, that fight's not gonna take place. Now, if Andy Ruiz wins, I think Andy Ruiz would fight Deontay Wilder. Especially because, number one, because he just seems, I believe that he's just that type of dude that he'd take on that fight and he's not going to duck the smoke. That's not going to work with his Mexican fan base if he ain't going to take that fight. Not a lot of, they, I don't think he's going to get the Canelo break with, with Jamal Charlo uh, when, you're de- when you're talking about Deontay Wilder. Now, if he fights, so I think he would fight, I would think that Andy Ruiz would fight Deontay Wilder. The thing that's standing in the way of that, if both of these guys win, is Tyson Fury 
or at least Tyson Fury thinks he can stand in the way from it because he says, I wouldn't take step aside money if it was $50 million. First of all, you lying. If they would have gave you again, let me say you lying again. If somebody gave you $50 million step aside money, you would step your ass to the side. Shut up. Get out of here. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't. $50 million? No, I wouldn't take that. Really? But you ducked them for free. You ducked them for free. Because you got you were about to get a ton of money to fight him before and you ducked out and went and signed with somebody else or not. If you didn't duck him for free, you ducked him for a lot less money. OK, let's get out of here, man. I can't wait. man. It, that dude needs to go somewhere. Tyson Fury. But anyway, man, I, he talks so much smack about so many people, man, that I can't fit that stuff into a video. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, and with that, I'm out. Peace.